So guys, welcome to the I Love Search podcast season two, our first female DJ in the building. How are you doing? You want to introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm good. My name is Tyler T, house DJ, co-founder of The Hub, and many more talents. And many more talents, <laughs> yeah. So firstly, I wanted to know, obviously, I see you doing a lot of lives. Mm. Um, is that when you started taking DJing serious? You know what? My story's a bit, little bit longer than that. So I started when I was like 16 with my cousin, Shannon. You might have seen her, DJ Chazapé. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's my name. cousin. She changed her name though, no? Oh, it's Shannon Peoples Shannon or something. Pa- yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what? She yeah, might have yeah, done. Yeah, I should know. Yeah. shouldn't know. I'm a cousin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I started with her. We were doing like back-to-backs for like years. And then we decided we wanted to do our own thing just separately as artists. And um, I took a little bit of a break like in between, which, you know, you kick yeah. yourself back. You're like, I should have just kept pushing. But then I kind of came back into it at the wrong time with lockdown. I was like, yeah, let's do it. I can do it in like... Any just circumstance, let's just yeah. do it. But I think it was more, I don't know, there was there was nothing going on and everyone was like running into lives to sort of just get that entertainment yeah, value. 100%. And we started doing these lives, me and Jay Dragon, and they ended up being like talk shows in a sense because like we didn't even notice for a while with the copyright of Instagram. They would shut down your lives, you know, you'd be watching. Oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah, it'd be live ended and you'd be like, oh, I have yeah. to start again because of the music. So we'd always make sure like we were interacting with people. We built a bit of like a family from there. People tuning in, I saw you tuning in. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's times. how I yeah. sort of met you yeah, through like times. online. But there were so many people that you met through online doing that. And then that sort of just like got things ready for when we come out of lockdown. Yeah, finally. yeah, yeah. I think it's, I think, well, I looked into quite a lot of your lives. So I'm thankful for that. Thank you. Um, <laughs> you look clean, you look neat. You know what I mean? I see the way you just got the hub thing in the middle yeah, and it's just yeah. like, it looked proper. Oh, like, thank yeah, you. so it's like. some of these neon yeah. lights going on. <laughs> so it's like, that was good, in it, for the scene as well? Yeah. Um, it was refreshing, kept everybody entertained. Definitely. You know what I mean? It was hard times. Um, was. I think lives helped a lot of things, a it lot did, of people. A lot of people. We um, even had people coming up to us who were like, like, surprisingly, because you don't feel like it would be you, but they're like, your lives literally saved wicked, me. Like, yeah. we needed them. Like, I was feeling suicidal and I'd watch a show and it would lift me up, and we were like, that's I didn't even realise I was doing that. that's what I'm you wouldn't even know. Cheese. Like yeah. It's, 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 yeah, wicked. Yeah, like, it's, it's so it's, good. To be fair, it's like, there'll be like 10 lives on at the same time, but I'm it's still- chaotic. Like, yeah, it was, it was, it was <laughs> I think you're like, cool, but I'll give everyone 20 minutes, 20 yeah. minutes. Certain people was like, right, cool, I'm, I'm sticking with this one. You, know yeah. what I'm you could tell by the comments if it's live. They'll be, be like, going yeah, off, yeah, wouldn't yeah, it? Going yeah, off. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, cool, that's proper. But honestly, um, obviously I was speaking to Dragon, big him up every time. Every time. Every time. <laughs> I was speaking to him. Um, so I was like, yeah, um, you're going to come down soon, whatever. He's like, yeah, but listen, look, I have to look out for you. He, he, like, I don't know if he told you. No. He's like, listen, like, yeah, cool, but make sure you get my girl on. Like, oh, yeah, you know yeah, what? Yeah, 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 he's, he's like, like Tyler T. Yeah, no, yeah, he's, he's the like, best support. Tyler, yeah. just get her. Trust mm. me. You need to get her. So I was like, all right, cool. Do you know what? I'm going to pay attention more. Like, I listen to, you see some people I, I, I respect and I mm. kind of like, I'll be like, all right, cool. If they forward someone on to me, I'll be like, cool. You know what I mean? I'm going to, yeah. yeah. But it's like more than giving a go. I'm going to f- look at everything. That's my job. I scan everything. I look at everything you do. Well, you know the positivity. You <laughs> <laughs> know what I mean? So it's obviously everything I see is all positive and good vibes. Oh, you know what good. I mean? Happy. Yeah, that's what I'm all it's about. Happy. Though, yeah. It's happy all the time. You know what I mean? But even like the events you're doing as well, it just looks, it looks lit. It looked lit. Thank everything you. I see, I'm thinking, wow, like it's, it's already. <laughs> Yeah. Already, and it's not like you've been doing that for like, what's that been? Oh, I know, on. it's 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 been since like April last year, so it's it's crazy how much like support we've got. I think from the lives and us having the community, at first we were like, let's just all meet up after this and see each other's faces and have it off. And then um luckily with lockdown when we we're all coming out, they pushed it back two weeks, didn't they? So we gave Boris a cheeky call, we were like, listen, we're too <laughs> so I was so just push it back. So everyone in London was there. No, not everyone, but yeah, yeah. there was a there was massive support from the start. We feel really fortunate, like we've just grown and grown mm. and like the venues are just getting bigger and better, which is what you always want. But it's yeah. just it's a nice, it's like an intimate atmosphere. Like it's very personal. Like the people there, it feels like family. Like yeah. you'll have one person, like she came down by herself. And then by the end of the night, everyone's telling me about her. I'm like, how do you uh, know yeah, everyone? And yeah. she's like, oh, don't worry about me. But everyone just makes you feel <laughs> so vibes. included. Yeah. yeah. And I think yeah. sometimes you lose that. Like a lot of my friends that don't like house because they're like, I go to the rave and like people are looking at me funny. And I was like, no, the house people are lovely. Like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah. But like, you just got to tap into the so, right yeah, circles. The right, yeah. That's it. Literally, it's just going to the right places. Exactly. You know what I'm trying to say? It's like, it's, it's, it's healthy anyway. You know what I mean? We need fresh 
we need a f- we just need fresh people. We fresh need every yeah, yeah, like it's not always the same, the same, the same, the same events. No, you know what no, I mean? there's so many more. Yeah, now. like there's so many more fresh DJs, mm. fresh energies. Like I see a lot of events with the same DJs. Yeah, you know what I mean the same, the same music. Yeah, you know what I mean like it's it's that's. It's gets like, old, yeah, gets like tired. it's, it's, it's yeah. tiring. You're not even doing nothing any different. You're just luckily you're just in the scene already, so you're kind of just got a setup already. So yeah. automatically you'll just you will get exposure. We've automatically you'll get big events. Or automatically, but it's not because they've got the same DJ or whatever that it means they're doing good. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, yeah. music's music. I love music. You love music, but Absolutely. it's 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 about the hub, isn't it? Do you know yeah, what I mean? it's the hub. Well, that's where <laughs> the, the name hub, came you know from because I mean? it's like. The hub of house music, like, it just sprang out to us. I've always liked the word of being, like, a hub. Somebody walks in, everyone connects into you, and we were like, that's what we'll do. We'll create this, like, thing. And we're hoping to grow it more from here, not just with events, but with different things. Like, even, we're very fortunate, obviously, being DJs and having, like, that big network. But I do graphic design on the side. He does the photography, videography. So we're, like, a one-stop whistle shop for everything for us. But we hope to, like, expand that and, like, sort of be the plug for other people who might not have them resources to do that and yeah. you never know. Okay, so is it just you and Dragon doing that or is there more? Yeah, it's just, just us you used two. to. Yeah, yeah. And you got so much done already. I know, you know what the work rate is sick because it's like whenever we see each other we're like hub and it's like you can't you can't avoid it. Like we have to just keep on top of it all the time. But yeah, I didn't know I thought it. it was like you had a team, but literally you're doing like Yeah, no we do have work, um man. our you know what, with the first ones obviously we want to make sure that we're paying attention to like the crowd, everything that's going on, managing it. So we do have uh, a guy called Perry who comes in and does like the photography video. Okay, shout out us. Perry. Shout out to Perry, my <laughs> guy. Yeah, Perry. he's wicked. Like he said, he was doing loads of um, videography, photography for events. He came down to us and you could tell we, he had these like lights like these ones yeah, here. Wicked. He's waving it in the crowd, like loving his life. He was like, it was the best event I've been to. To be fair, time. it's like even... I remember I must have put my story on whatever and someone asked me, are you coming? I was like, yeah, I want to try they? and come. But you know what it is? You see, like, I kind of slacked with the social side of things, but it's like... Mm, it's hard. The hub, the, like, the next hub, I have to be there. Oh, come on, you've got to come through, put your guest list. I need to be there, you know what I mean? I need to witness this. I want to try and do, like, the sesh blogs. I want to do blogs, in it. So I want to come to okay. I want to come to people's party. I want to rate it out of 10. I want to, like... be like a food critic who gets to Do you know what I mean? Like, but I want to do it. treated really yeah. good. <laughs> do you know what I mean? But I want to go to, like, you a room, like, yeah, look. Getting in was simple, easy. Yeah. Ten. You know what I mean? Street service, simple, that. easy. Ten. Everyone, Backstage. Yeah, 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 ten. Do you know what I mean? Like, I want to try and do something like that. Do you know what I mean? But obviously, we speak about that on a later date. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? But Absolutely. it's like, I love, the, I love it, though. I love oh, it. From what I've seen, you. trust me, like, I proper scan everything and I see. You could tell when someone's put into it. We have so and much attention it. to detail. Like we don't like spare any expense either. We're not like looking at it right now as like a profit thing. Like everything that we get, we throw back into the business and just make sure that we're like trying to maximize it in every way and just get that like special ingredient of stuff. Cause yeah. I feel like where we've been out in the house scene, we know what we like. We know what we like to see even through being a DJ. And then we're like, right, let's tap into this. Let's yeah, tap into that. Into and it, yeah. it costs it costs money at the end yeah, of the day. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I and can imagine. Like I can walk away and be like, oh yeah, I've made a good, a good wage there. But then oh, I'm worried about the next events. Yeah, yeah, it's my baby. Yeah. I'll go, I'll yeah, have it yeah. back. Do nah, you know I mean? you's up. Nah, well done. Oh, I thank ain't gonna lie. you. Well thank done. You. Well done. Um, let's talk about BBC Radio. I want to talk about that. Oh yes. How? What's what's first of all, first of all, how do you feel about that? Good. You know what? I don't know if you can tell. I'm a bit of a chatterbox, so it was all right. And also, where it was just on Zoom and everything, like meeting wise, has been on Zoom. Like I felt quite comfortable just like jump on, just chat to the guys yeah, and yeah, see yeah, what was yeah, going yeah, on. Yeah. But I felt very lucky that they sort of like because it just came out of the blue. They just like emailed me, and I was like, oh, "Do they have my emails?" Like, yes. So yeah, it was just like chatting about like anything DJ related. They'd be like, "Tyler, can you come on?" And I'd be like, "That's wicked, though. I'm there." Yeah, yeah. So it was really good. And then um. That led to there being a like a New Year's Eve mix, which I ended up like kicking off the start of that. So I did like this naughty like ten minute mini mix because you only had ten minutes, and yeah. I was like, I'm not going to play three songs. I'm going to play like twenty. Yeah, so I just went in, in yeah, yeah, like yeah, bang, 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 bang. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that yeah. was really good, and luckily that helped me out because I um entered a competition for Kiss Fresh, and they were like, yeah, you've won it. So I'm going on there in two weeks, just from the Wicked. back of that mix. Wicked. So it's always good to have that Wicked. material that you're like proud of, that you can like send off. But initially they were like, we thought you got the wrong people. We're like, we're not the BBC, what are you doing? <laughs> and they gave it a listen, they were like, I don't care if it's the BBC, you're coming on. Yeah, so that yeah. was sick. That's wicked. Yeah. That must have been, a, that must have meant a lot. I and, know. And you think about it, you must have looked back at it and think, fuck, BBC. 
I know, that's it's shit. weird. Then Even that... like thinking, like when I was coming on here, I was thinking like, oh, what things can I like mention to you? And then when you look back through it all, you're like, oh yeah. I'm, yeah, like, I'm doing all right. Trust like, me, like, it's, 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 <laughs> like, I see a lot, I see like a lot, you've played at a lot of places. Like, I, like I know. You could, it's all, that's, at the end of the day, all them places you've played at, that's all different experiences. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. you could talk about every event you've played at. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It wouldn't be the same story, be no, all different no. things. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, the select, is that select the other day? Was yeah, I was at Slick oh, Radio that? last week. No, that was good. That was with the Masconada boys. But that's what's good about like even just being out in the scene that like, I met them at when I was playing at Orange Yard at Fiji events. And then they hit me up like a few weeks later and they were like, I'll oh, come down to Slick Radio, get involved. And it's that's why it's good. It's good for networking. Like we'd love to start our own radio with like the hub, yeah, being the hub yeah. of everything. Listen, it's good wicked. to meet people, that'd be you wicked. know, it would. It would. You could start a DAB, you could just start it oh, off like that, do you know yeah. what I mean? And just. I mean, I think I've got, people always say to me like, I've got a radio voice. Yeah, you have, you have. They're now locked into Tyler T. <laughs> you, 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 you couldn't <laughs> the wait, <camera>. <laughs> You couldn't wait, man. Yeah. Um, look. Just keep going, keep grafting, keep thank pushing. You, definitely. Everyone will gravitate to you. Like I'm gravitate. Like, the energy oh, is pure. You. you know what I mean? The energy is pure, <laughs> yeah. though, isn't it? Like you can just tell when someone's have pure energy. Do you know what I yeah, mean? And definitely. I feel like you have to be. There's a lot of weirdos in this industry as well. So you need to be. You need to. <laughs> you have to be pure and just be yeah. honest. Yeah. You know what I mean? And just be you and not feel pressure to do anything. And no, they, yeah, exactly. Hopefully yeah. everybody's got the right same. Intentions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully everyone's got the right intentions. But I feel like you would know. I feel like when you're pure, you know when it's... Oh, when it's though, I am. Uh, so like, oh, they're like, nice, they're nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, look, I'm guessing you haven't really come across anything, had any bad, like, situation you have you with, like... I have, I or... have once. This was back in the day. I won't mention any names, but, <laughs> like, I didn't get paid. And I was like, oh, what do you mean? I was what? like, yeah, like, I was there. Like, I did the thing. They were like, no, you, you not, you're not getting paid. And we were like, we're trying to look for you. And then we were just like, yeah, we need to learn. Because when you hear things about people in the scene, you should take it on board. We're like, nah, it's all right, we'll just yeah, go. Yeah, but sweet, yeah. I mean, you do have to be wary. And I think also, like, as a girl, sometimes you have to be wary as, like, people's intentions yeah, as yeah. to going on stuff. Like, yeah. you do hear things from other girls. But luckily, firsthand, I haven't really experienced anything yeah, yeah, like yeah, that yeah. bad. I think, I think that not paying one's a joke thing, though. That's a joke. I know. That's a, that's a joke. <laughs> that's like, a liberty, yeah, isn't that's it? Yeah, that's a liberty, but you just don't deal with them again. No, yeah, that's exactly um, what we were saying. I wouldn't even... I would just get, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even tell a lot of people about that. I'd be like, ah, sweet, it happened. Yeah, like, you're just, you're just a joke, you know what I mean? Yeah, but, um, it happened so many years ago. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> like, nah, but it won't happen now. But the things about, it, we're so mad. You're going to get bigger. You're getting bigger. Yeah. And like, he might look at it and think, raw, why did I do that? Yeah, but you know what, people people change, you know, you look back and you might be like, oh, that was a bit of a mad one, I shouldn't have done that, do you know what I mean? Yeah, so there's yeah. no bad blood, there's no point in There's no bad back. blood, I want the money, no. I want the money to <laughs> money. I want the money, I want the money, but you know. My look, card dates up though. <laughs> obviously, it's, it's passion as well, but yeah. you're working as well. I think that's you know it, I mean? like, I think, like, even for me, it gets a little bit muddled, because it's something I love so much, I'm like, I, like I, I just enjoy doing it, so even in that experience, I'm like, you know what, I enjoy playing out, it's all right, but then it is a service, and it is a craft, it's all them times behind closed doors, and yeah. the hours that you put into it, and, like, building your social media, social media, yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah. long, so, like, you do have to think, like, right now, I have to be, like, quite cutthroat at times, not cutthroat, I'm not cutthroat But, like, people, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But you've got to be, like, quite assertive with, of it. like, yeah, yeah. look, I'm worth this much, this blah, is blah, why, blah. bang, bang. Because I even see that email you sent me, mate, fuck, you know, oh, professional, isn't it? You know, you know, I saw it, I thought, you know what, that was the first, that was the first email I've received from a DJ, really? like that. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I saw your manager I'm just there. So I saw that there. I thought, yeah. Bloody, yeah, I saw something in yellow, highlight. Orange, yeah, orange is my like colour, it's my colour, mate. I think you're right, but that's what I'm trying to say. There's levels, mm. and that's how you have to present yourself. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Like, definitely. I've come across a lot of, I've interviewed a lot of DJs, even bigger ones, and I ain't like, received nothing like that. Or I'm just saying, though, yeah. you know what I'm trying to say it was like, I'm like, okay, cool. Oh, no, do you know what I mean? Because <laughs> anyone who sees that will be like, oh, all right, cool. That's, she means business. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So it's like, Look, that's how you have to be. You have to be the best at what yeah, you do. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. No matter what it's email to text to mm. whatever. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. You're doing yeah good I just in that think department. I go over the top of everything, but I like doing it. Like, I'm a very organised yeah, person yeah, and yeah, I love yeah. it. So, even with the thing in orange, I was like, I'll grab that, copy, paste it. Right, yeah, so, you've got everything you need. I want you to be at ease. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, so, what? Are you, are you a tech DJ? Uh, so, I would say my sound, I, I like tech house. I like. Deep house as well. I do love a bit of deep house. And I feel like whenever I describe it, it's like, so I've come from a background where I used to like um, 
dubstep back in the day. I know it's terrible, but you know, before I knew what house was and I was like, oh yeah, like bassy bangers. And then when I found house, I was like, no, this is, sorry dubstep. Right, so, this yeah. is the one, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I'm moving yeah. on. But I think I've always loved that like, dirtiness and like that like sinister sound like i feel that like beat. um mm. like yeah, my favorite dj well producer is dom dollar and he's got yeah. like them dirty sort serious. of so yeah serious. i serious. like to see them upside down frowns yeah 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 give it to it yeah yeah that's serious so that's who is that who you are trying to no obviously you're not trying to follow I wanna, that but i want to be him yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that means so is that your favorite producer yeah, definitely. So who, who's your favourite DJ? Or could I ask that? Ooh, you know what? That's a hard question because I don't even think I know. But I think this is a bit of a like curveball. Probably loads of people say this. But he's not obviously how I mix. But DJ EZ, you've got to respect it. So I don't know how he does that. Right. It's, it's the best that It's actually everything. mad. Like it's Even the... when I'm listening to it, I could be like sitting in my room best and I'm everything. just like, my mind is blown. That's so not even a shout it. because... About 70% of DJs have asked, they've mentioned EZ. You have to. Like easily, not even like, it's not even a reach, it's not even a shout. It's because we're it's still just... all in shock. We're like, what have I just heard? Like, even though he's not like the style that I mix to, because obviously he's so fast paced, like he's got like lyrics going in the background, but it's so chop and change. But like, you've got to rate like the talent that comes from doing something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's amazing. So what's the, what's your, have you got, have you got a two year plan? Two year plan. You know what? I am the sort of girl where I'm like, I've got my manifestation books, I've got here, there. I, like, I've got places that I want to play, but I feel like I, I discussed this with my manager. I'm like, oh, I'll do that in five years. She's like, no, Tyler, you'll do it in two. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, long. okay, yeah. Too long. Maybe I'll have to adjust it to yeah. two years. <laughs> two, two years, bro. You know what I mean? Two years, print works, if you're listening. <laughs> Listen, they're trying to save print works. You know, they're yeah, because yeah, I so. heard that they were just, they were going to go. I was yeah. like, I ain't done with you That's yet. what I'm saying. <laughs> works. But there's a lot of, drum sheds is massive. Oh, it's yeah, crazy that's as well. Sick, yeah. There's a lot of big, big venues anyway. There are. Printworks obviously is one of them, do you know what I mean? So. You know what though, it's like, it's sad when you've lost something. Because I never got to go to Sankey's Ibiza and everyone tells me about it. It really Mad. hurts me. So yeah, like, if yeah. I was like, oh, people going, oh yeah, I play Printworks. I'd be like, <laughs> Sankey's all over <laughs> it. Saying, you work great. You just need to put in the work. Yeah, Literally, I always said thank you to know it's space. Put, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> <Put in> a, <laughs> you have to put in the work. You just have yeah. to put in the work. Yeah, Literally, definitely. Craft, but you have to, that's social wise, you have to be on point with social media. You like you have to be, the engagement has to be very high. Mm, like even if, you have, even if you have nothing to post, you just post. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Just, I know. Just to, yeah. And, and I, it took me long to realise how that works. I, feel, I thought I could just, just post something and just be quiet. But you have to keep, because I see by my views, like mm. one minute I have like 800, then I'll leave it for a minute. I'll post, it's like I'll have like three, four. I'm still trying so to understand like, the algorithm that is Instagram because it's just like, it's, it's, it's a lot. Weird. It's, it's It is weird. I, post, it's like it's not, I try to post from like 12. I do like 11, 12. Oh, I never do any yeah, time before 11, six. 12. Oh, oh do you know? Yeah, what? no. I just find people, if I if I was coming home, sitting down on my phone, it's at six, six to seven. You reckon? Yeah. But think about it, whenever, as soon as I get up, what's the what's one of the first things you yeah, do? Yeah, it's true. So that's, that's and true. I get about seven, eights. You I know what? I've heard about people doing it different ways and they've just, they're fine. The, I, I just get scared. <laughs> just, even <laughs> the reels, the, was it, the reels, I don't know how to get an algorithm on that as well, but it's weird because I'll post in the morning I'll get thingy. If I post in the afternoon, it won't really be enough. Oh, it's so. not working. Oh, don't listen to me then. <laughs> so I don't really know, but the algorithm thing, it's just mad. I don't really know how no, that it works. No, it is. And, and you do have to stay on top of it. Like I find, no one really wants to see a lineup really. Like they usually want to see like you out doing something or for some reason like a selfie and you're like, but I'm doing this. But people more respond to like, lifestyle stuff then obviously like flyers and things like that so you yeah, have to be like a bit yeah, chop and change yeah, with it 100%, 100%, like you got to be careful yeah 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 people yeah yeah because there's so much so much of the same flyer you're going to post to the same yeah, wave exactly. you know what i'm trying yeah, to say yeah, but obviously yeah, just definitely. do the couple of promo videos on that yeah i would recommend that like, well personally i'll do like two three different promo videos on the same on the same rave maybe i don't yeah, know um, good chat. do you know what i mean but i don't obviously i don't i don't do raves like, it's not me. <laughs> so, um, but yeah it's it's Look, at the end of the day, your fresh face, I'll say your fresh face, do you know what I mean? So it's like, you just have to keep the energy, do you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Um, there's a lot of new DJs as well. There are, especially um, off the back of lockdown. Literally. 100%. Um, but a lot of people are just calling themselves a DJ anyway, but they can yeah. have it, they could have it, do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> they can have it, at the end of the day, once you're playing good music, you know, at the end of the day, you could be a DJ, but you, if you're not doing something, if you're not doing something different, 
then you're just mm. gonna stay in the same place. That's the thing, just, trying to get creative. Do you know what I mean? It's so it's, and even with you saying about the social side, like it's actually quite important to be going out to events all the time. And then when you're mixing and DJing out and then you're like trying to support events and then go to new events, like it can get so hectic. And the things like, you're gonna, you're gonna get, you're gonna, like, see next year, I think next year, cause it's gonna be fresh. You know, like you're coming on the back of like, I mean, getting bookings, yeah. your, your events getting bigger. Mm. I feel like, a new start to the year or just even new energy even yeah. more you know what I'm trying to say 2022 you know what I mean and the just, one it was meant to be 2020 but 2020 yeah, 20, yeah, <laughs> 2020 but it's like to, you, to be fair if did you think about the hub before everything though how because think about it logically yeah it's like if you didn't have the lockdown would it be the hub I think I, I it's quite fortunate because I was thinking about starting an event but the hub and so though. was Jay Dragon and oh, okay. then we come together and we met and we were like event and he was like yeah mm-hmm. and we're like okay let's do this but I think we we're very lucky because we've both got like them skill sets that I mentioned so we can balance each other out and we can kind of help to get to the end goal rather than like outsourcing everything that we do so that's quite good and then also I feel like all the people that we've got involved like through him going out through the years and through me like we have like a lot of contact with people just in our lives like it doesn't need to be like an Instagram thing do you know yeah, what I mean so yeah. like even everything that we've grown on Instagram has been very like organic. So everyone that's following, we know is actually following. following yeah, yeah, it's, it's not yeah, like, I oh, I follow you, so you follow me back yeah, and then yeah, I'll slightly organic. unfollow you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 like, so it's quite good. Cause then I feel like that's helped our exposure and our growth and it's through friends of friends, like word of mouth. So I think that's really helped yeah, us. Yeah, you used to definitely bounce off each other. Yeah, You've known each other for years? No. I literally thought- For years. Like, yeah, you're yeah, saying, no. when I saw for the thing, I was thinking, give up. Yeah, okay, like, no, but it's, that's good, that's good though. Yeah, yeah, no, that's it was good. good. It it's, helped our lives massively. Especially in this day and age, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's just, everything's just pure, it's just good. No, you know what, I think with someone who's a business partner, you need someone who, like, really supports you. And even you saying the first thing you said is, like, the first thing you said, check Tyler. Like, you need that. So yeah. we have that with each other where we make sure that we're, like, pushing each other, helping each other. Because even with, like, our wider family who aren't, like, in the hub, but, like, we're connected with like through them doing their events Mutuals like they're all good yeah they're good hearted people if they ever need help with stuff or even like the Masconada boys they were lovely enough to like when I went down they were like if you need anything and it's, it's that energy that I love mm. where they're like if you need anything like just let me know and you're like yeah you can, you can join yeah, the there's, family there's, there's, like. there's, there's, there, there is pure people in this world left, 100% you know? yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I question there, it but yeah, yeah there's some left really, don't consider it there's, yeah. there's them lot and there's them lot you yeah. know what I mean but um, that's wicked you yeah, know what I mean no, definitely. what bookings you got coming up Ooh, so I've got Kiss Fresh in two weeks. Yeah, so I'm yeah, excited said, for yeah. that one. And I've got, um, obviously, The Hub on December 11th. Is it 11th, You've got yeah. to plug yourself, do you know what I mean? Yeah, You're yeah, doing yeah. Naughty or Nice theme. For yeah, Christmas, yeah. Oh, okay, you know, okay. Everyone, everyone liked the <laughs> okay. Halloween, so we're like, yeah, yeah. I got spicy. Yeah, you have to be different, do <laughs> you know what I mean? You have to be yeah. different. You, you have no choice to be different. Yeah, definitely. Um, where's that? So where's the next hub? So that's at the Hoxton Pony. And then we've got one after that on February the 26th. Can't disclose. You got in pony. Fuck it. Yeah, hell. yeah. Down in the basement because yeah, so that's where we belong. What, <laughs> what does that mean? That's just, that's that's no. That, yeah, listen, no, not that's... anyone could get them kind of places there. You know. Yeah, no. You know what? It's really fortunate because that was off the back of me um, doing a booking for Crystal Aura. Yes, you might have heard of her. Yes, yeah. I so she her. has yes. her own event that she was doing, and um, I did a set in there, and the venue owner came over to me, and he was like, oh. Six yeah, seven, and he yeah. was like listen if you ever need a venue I was like oh I'm actually doing an event so that actually worked out really well so yeah he, he's been a great like asset to us with like venues and then we've got uh, yeah February 26th and we've got the um, one year mark in April which is going to be on my birthday yeah, so, well. so massive, it's double massive, bubble massive so yeah that's going to be so sick yeah um, I see you, you DJs along M&I as well I see yeah you yeah you know what I've, I've oh, done quite well. a few cool things where I'm like like yeah, a little pinch me yeah, moment so yeah one. she came down and actually played at our event and she's like been a great support to Jay as well so she come down and played for us um I did Bubba Bay so I warmed up for DJ SKT so yeah that I see was that as well cool. yeah SK SK Loved that and yeah. then um yeah he came up to you he's like oh you're a sick DJ you know I was like oh really thank you so yeah. <laughs> I was like, I've had it to call. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then um, also I did a warm up for Ellie Cox. So yeah, it's, it's yeah, quite good Ellie, that you're yeah. starting to meet them people in the scene where you're like, oh, I'm stepping up the yeah, ladder. Yeah, you know, yeah. so. they'll, they'll, I reckon they'll put you on and push you through anyway. Yeah, you yeah, know what definitely. I mean? No, they're all really good. It's guys. like, it's, it's, 
Yo, how old are you? You're young. I'm 24. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, it's like, you're young. So you've got, you've got years yeah, on you. Yeah, you're getting oh, patient. <laughs> yeah, you're like. <laughs> you've, got, you've got years on you. Like, you've still, you still yeah. got a lot to learn, obviously. Do you know what I mean? I know you're trying to be in a B first, the, the, the Europe. Mm. You're trying to be, I feel like that should be your next step as well. I know. Abroad. You know what? Oh, and lockdown like, messed me up. I was going to play out in Iron Appa for like a week. Oh, on yeah. The, on the beaches and the clubs. But yeah, lockdown. I was like, oh. But hopefully that will come up next year. That's yeah, good. Abroad would be sick. That's that's wicked, man. Um, I'm trying to even. I need to get a lot more female DJs on as well. Yeah. You know I, mean? I want to hear their experience. I feel like I kind of know their male experience. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I want to hear like how is it on your side of things and how it, how it is for a female coming into the scene and just like. I think it's like you know what's quite good at the moment. I feel like there's quite a push for it. Because I think it has been quite male dominated in the past. 100%. And I think like a lot of people are a bit more conscious, like, oh, let's get a girl on the lineup, blah, blah, blah. So I think, and also with like female only events, which are coming through, which I think That's some what... of them are a bit like female only events <laughs> and the men are a bit like, oh, all right, oh, you know. Yeah, sweet. You know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah. yeah, no, it is good because I think there is that push from that perspective, but it is still a bit like, touch and go it just depends on like the demand really and like how many people there are but i think there are like there are enough female djs you just sort of have to fight there's yeah, a few a... coming through and i've been like spotting quite a few yeah i've names. seen i've seen a couple i've, I've approached a couple i think mm. there's a bit nerve nervous yeah at the minute but yeah. um i just that's what i'm trying to say what's weird to me yeah what i just mm. laugh all the time how can you be nervous to have a one-on-one conversation about your dj in front of hundreds of people you know what i mean but i just don't know though innit? Some everyone's people different find it really difficult like i've always been a bit of a chatterbox so i'm just yeah. like so yeah throw me on like what do you want to talk about but i think with some people like and i've had practice through obviously doing like the radio stuff and things like that and even i don't know zoom calls or whatever as i feel like some people it's like you get put on the spot it's a bit nervous a bit like when you first go up to play your first set like your hands shake you're like oh my god am i ready for this yeah, so yeah. they're probably thinking the cameras are on me i'm gonna be sitting in like yeah, but it's just, it's really it's just, i always say you're that lovely out. enough he's fine it's, baby. It's, <laughs> really nice. it's just literally like it's just a com- it's just a normal conversation you were yeah. having it it's just it's just about what well, it's about you about your your lifestyle about how mm. you're here now so i feel like it should be calm it should it's be a natural, topic you really, know really, most about isn't it really yeah, you'd just, like to be <laughs> you know what i mean it's, your, it's yourself you know what i mean yeah, you yeah. Interview me. I'll, just, I'll just be flowing like yeah i've done that i do that I yeah can't yeah do that. that's just that and just that's that do you know what i mean mm, but, um, definitely that's just that anyway do you know yeah. what i'm trying to say i'm sure they'll see this and be like, oh, it's actually all right so is this like your first like interview you've had this is my first podcast oh podcast interview yeah, yeah. oh yeah so obviously you've done it yeah, yeah, the yeah, radio, yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. But, <laughs> but, but like, yeah, um, this is my first podcast. Yeah, probably so the first of many. I feel like there's a couple other podcasts in the scene as well, which is coming as well. You know so. what? I've only I've only come across one recently because uh, you might have seen DJ Courtney. She does oh, she does so she's, much. She she wicked. She's like so busy. Like, like just from watching like her big, work. Big ones it. though. She gets she, big boys. She gets yeah, the big boys, isn't it? She's <laughs> just like. Ooh, but Big like ways. she connected me with this podcast and I was like, oh, this is this is sick, you know. Like it's quite nice to hear other people's stories and everyone's stories, like you were saying before, they're just so different as yeah. to how and it's nice I think also for people who like are in their early doors or thinking about doing it, just saying there's so many different ways to approach it and how it just sort of falls together, but there's no like one right way, which yeah, I know one, people yeah. say about everything, but it's just like just get stuck in and do it yeah, straight away because yeah. otherwise you're like yeah I'll do, I'll do that in like and a just, month yeah. and you never do you yeah, just yeah, throw yourself it's into it it's like I'm just kind of like fascinated with like like I said obviously I go to raves I listen to mm. DJs but I want to know you, you know? I want to know you like your character yeah like what's like do you know what I mean? I just see you just doing the headphones, one ear like that, doing that, like, you know what I mean? I feel oh, like I get too boaty behind it because it's all my tracks and I love them. I'll be there like, yeah, yes, yeah, like, yeah. So it's like, but you got to gas the crowd up. If you're yeah, not excited about it. 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%. So I feel like the audience deserve to know like how you are as a person. Mm. I feel like they deserve personally, do you know what I mean? Mm. I'll, I, like, all the DJs I listen to, I want to know. Like, oh, like, I wonder if they're cool. Yeah. I wonder if he's a cunt. <laughs> or I wonder if he's like a... We're going to catch him out. Yeah, you know what I mean? I wonder how he is, really. But to be fair, so far, so good. A yeah. couple of weird ones. That's good. Respectfully, but Don't everyone's... Don't want drinks thrown over. Uh, <laughs> 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 Not a weird one, so, but everyone's just, everyone's just got different personalities, obviously. Yeah, of course. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's... And that's it's, the thing, it, like, I think with this game as well, like, you can get some, like, really talented people, but they can be really introvert, and you're telling them, like, come on, like, get out of your shell, because it's so important to, like, network and talk to people to get them opportunities, and you see them, like, slowly over time just sort of crack open and all of that, and, like, get opportunities, and it's yeah, great yeah. to see, but it's, like, people can be so different. 
from yeah. all walks of life. But it's because that it's the music that joins us together. You yeah, hundred percent. Joins. Yes. Okay. I was gonna say we join together. It's, yeah. I wish we was all together. I wish the whole house scene was all together. Yeah. I mean, all together. There's just still. You know what? There's always drama stuff. Yeah. In there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, everyone, not everyone just like any family. Everyone wants to be on top, <laughs> innit? Everyone wants to be on top. I reckon. Yeah, of course. Which is not an issue. Mm. You you want to be the best at what you do. So like. But I think the way you it. get there is through. Obviously, the only way I'm gonna get there is from support, from events, from the people listening, from people like yourself, from getting me on, like. It's just all about supporting each other and driving each other to the top. Because I think if you're going to try and do it by yourself, it's like, it's going to be so hard. Like, who are you relying on? Who are you yeah, using yeah. to get that hand up or give that hand down to help free? You never know. You might help someone out. In years, they blow up and they go, oh, I want to oh, get you yeah, on this. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's so true, it's just it's all true. about, like, just having that sharing ethos, I think. It's true. It's, um, so would you would you play anywhere then? Okay, say, say like, you're saying it's about socialising or whatever. So mm. you play, would you play anywhere? Pretty much, yeah. If I can get down there when I'm trying. Or on a plane, <laughs> you know. <laughs> no, but yeah, um, I don't think... I'm I'm sort of like a bit of a yes man after watching that film. Like, I don't really want to turn away opportunities. Like, I get a bit gutted. Like, even like this weekend, just gone. I won tickets to an event, which I've never done. You know, when you do the like, yeah. sneaky like, comment. Yeah, yeah. And then they picked me. I was like, I didn't actually fully prepare for this. So yeah, I've actually yeah. got to go. And it was um, a bowed print work. Okay, yeah. But I didn't end up going in the end. And then my pal, she... I know, and even that, I'm like passed up on an opportunity, but that was just to be in the crowd, and I thought, you know what, I wasn't even, I was going to go there, be sober and enjoy the vibe, which some people might think I'm a mad woman for going to yeah, a yeah, yeah, sober. That's... But, um, yeah, my friend was like, oh, yeah, one of the DJs, uh, I think it was Ricky Ahmed, she was like, oh, he replied to me, said we could go backstage, and I was like, oh, this is why I don't pass up opportunity. Not that anything would happen, but you never know. That's a, ne that's, that's a network there, though. Yeah, that's that's a. You know how a boat is. That's, a, that's a different. <laughs> you know what I mean, you know, that's just a whole different world. So it's like yeah, it is, that yeah. backstage. That's how it starts. Yeah, that's how it starts. And it would just be cool to just see everyone. That's how it starts. But that's how it starts. <laughs> yeah, so you start the conversation, true. mate. Look, I'm this. I'm that. All right, sweet. Mm. Just, all it takes is one person. You know. Yeah. It's true. One person, one person just to me say hate your myself, name. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? But you know how it goes in this. That's how it goes. Yeah. One person. Once you get that one person. That will just go around, mate. Yeah. And, and you might just get that special, mm. that special call up. Exactly. Oh, know what I mean? They're calling. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm guessing you probably wanted to pay for a bowl. I'm guessing you want to play with all these other big events. You know what yeah. I mean? So it's like. Yeah, I think everyone does though, doesn't yeah, they? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I think what's quite exciting thinking about now and even like running my own event is thinking about like, we're thinking about building our network and having like, there's people in events like, which obviously I said, they'll be like, oh, I can help you out if you ever need this, that, the other. And I think what's quite exciting is the concept of us all coming through, like if we all help each other, because like, Defected Abode, they started a while ago and they've come through and they're at the top. But what yeah, about the new guys? Good. Like, yeah, what if we I'm start saying. like, that's what, yeah. that's, and that's what I love. <laughs> that's what I'm loving. Yeah. And I want everyone who's pushing a new brand, I want them to all be at the top. Yeah, you know I mean, because I hate that it's just like two, three at the top. Then it's it there's is. tears, there's tears, it is. Isn't it? there there's are like tears. The two, three, yeah. then it's that, then it's that, then it's that, then it's that. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So it's like you just gotta keep grafting, but you, you have to stick at it. Yeah, you do. Like rave every two. What do you, what do you reckon? Rave every two, three months. Are you trying well, to do yeah. once a month? Are you trying um, to do once a month? Ain't that the plan? Not, yeah, you know what? I feel like we don't want to ask too much of our like community and be like, right, we want you there every month. But we feel like every two months, and that means you know you've got enough time to go to your other events, take a week weekend off because you probably need it. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think, I think, yeah. Every two months. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I think it feels right at the moment. I feel like we're going about it in the right way because we keep seeing growth and like the numbers going up. And then I think if it gets to a point where we're going, okay, we can probably do one every month we'll just check that we're not having our quality or our numbers go down in people that we're still growing. Yeah, in the yeah, same yeah, way. yeah, yeah, yeah. So. It's not, it's, oh, so you've, re, you've seen the numbers, you've seen it. Like, yeah, you check all the yeah. Things, you so like we're better. booking bigger venues each time. So that means that it's going the right That's way. That's what I'm so saying. Far, it's, it's, yeah. how many, yeah, you're, you're, uh, yeah, the hub, low key. I don't know if you know about yeah, low key. Yeah, I've seen them come through. They're, yeah, we've got, they're, um, they're coming through. Elsie, I hope I'm saying her name right. Elsie Mida. Oh, yeah, think, yeah, 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 yeah. She's yeah. Norwegian, so she's playing for us at the next hub. Okay. But she played. Oh, like she wasn't. Is, is, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is it Elise Medell? Is it Elise? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, because she's, yeah, she, yeah. She's been on a few of the lineups Loki, there, but I, yeah. I saw they had quite a naughty lineup in the last Yeah, there's time, a couple, yeah. Um, yeah, there's a couple. There's only to be fair, they're the two who stood up stood out for me at the oh, minute. Thanks. Like new, like yeah. new up and coming wise, which I'm like, alright, cool, I need to I got one idea and one yeah. idea, like I'm trying to say. But that's Sick. that's a, hopefully that's everyone's cool. on the same, but you know, the house is so big. 
Jeez. There's like there's thousands of there's thousands of events that that's going on at the moment. Yeah. But before lockdown, there wasn't thousands of events. No, that's it was different, thing. wasn't it? Yeah, it's way different. Not a little bit different. Way. Yeah. Like, way. It way. was more like you had to. You think can yeah. I throw an event? No, I can. I can do that. As now it's like. I could be a DJ, I could throw an event, I'm going to do it. Do you know what it is as well? It's like a lot of clubs, bars, they weren't just letting you come there and yeah, use it. But now point. they're letting you like, I feel like because of the corona and everything yeah, and money wise, they're taking on anyone. Not yeah. like that. Not like to <laughs> say like, kidding. not like that. Not to be like, <laughs> yeah. but like now it's just. They're it's, more open. It's, they just the, want income. Yeah, they just want as income. As long as you can do it. So I feel like that's why there's so many mm. new like events and also they're, they're so lucky like as a venue like personally like when we were going in there i mean on our first event like we had like really good heaving bar all of that and then just to see all that money they were like yeah just going off with bags and bags of cash for like not really doing any promoting free. just put some bar stuff in. i was like damn it i need a venue like yeah. this is crazy the things about you get you see like Oh, is your attention to ch- keep changing venues or are you going to just find your, you just waiting to find that one one? I think we're like changing venues. I think that's what we want to do. Like we don't want to become too like we're the in-house event for this one place. We want to keep it fresh for our audience so that they try new places every time. So I yeah. think that's where our heart's at at the moment because I think we're just a bit scared of like having that label of just being a one-stop shop for that place. And then you're like, you wouldn't really go there only maybe if you live around the corner you might go there and a few people come so that's been our approach but not to say that's 100 percent right but we feel like that's the right way for us at the moment yeah i think yeah mm. definitely heading down the, the right yeah. path so what's your um your f- what was your first event you played at though oh my first event ever you'd think i'd be able to remember it wouldn't yeah, you yeah, yeah. Ever. <laughs> Wait, I'm um, because i'm thinking back to when i was like 17. yeah if oh. i was out of lockdown I mean, uh, they were seated though. And the first event that I played with people standing was my own event. So everyone okay. was just so gassed, but seated. I'm a resident for Vibes 8 um, sessions. So they had stuff which is up in Ipswich. So okay. I traveled that way for them. But, um, and I did uh, Fiji events. They had something at Orange Yards, but that was all seated. So. Oh, as like as corporate, was that like up. a corporate event or something when we were seated? In no, what sense like it's in like, you know when we had to sit around tables and no oh, one was allowed shit. to stand up because um, you might get COVID if you're standing but not oh, if you're sitting. Oh, it was like, like oh. what's the thing when social distancing Yeah, kind that of thing. was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. that was different. But if I cast my mind back to like my first Even I know back, it back. was St. Albans. It was called Digital Bitch. And I remember, this is so embarrassing, when I first saw the lineup, I actually cried because I was like, I made it already. Because there was like people like X5 Dubs on there. Like, X5. Yeah, there was like, man, I was like, <laughs> I made it already. I've done it. I've done it. <laughs> so I was gassed from that. But yeah, no, that was that was a really sick night. That was good. Yeah, that's, that's. so have you had any kind of like, what can I can say, have you, have you messed up with any of your sets before? I well, think I everyone has, as a DJ. Yeah, well, like, has it been seen to anyone or... No. I feel like you always, as a DJ yourself, you recognise it and you come yeah, up and you're like, oh, mate. Yeah, but recognise it, though. Yeah, it's no, just... yeah, it's quite, they don't really realise, with like, they're just there for the sound, but I feel like if you come off and you're like, oh, did you hear that? And people are like, what, what are you talking about? And you're like, but I'm very particular, I'm very a perfectionist, so it has to sound a certain way, it has yeah. to be a certain amount of beats and yeah, things like that. Yeah. So even, you've seen, I'm quite organised, so well, yeah. I feel like that applies <laughs> in my mix, and I'm like, it has to be like particular and like quite methodical. But um, I can't say... There's any time where I've literally looked up in horror and been like, oh my God, Fucking I need to go home. Like, yeah, that, yeah. that's it for me. So I've been quite fortunate that that hasn't happened. I've learned that you always need to have, I've got four USBs now on me at all times, just in case, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but four USBs. Because once I went down, I put one USB in, I think this was for Fabio Lewis's event way back. And I put the, the USB in and it was just literally in some Egyptian hieroglyphics. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God. What Luckily, do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Like, like it was all squares and penguins and stuff like written on the decks, like where you choose a song. And obviously I don't know what song that is. It just says a penguin. So I was like, oh, oh my God. Luckily, I have my decks on me. Oh, okay, you came with them. I brought yeah. my decks with me. It's the only set I've ever, no, I have brought my decks to the set before, but I had them with me just in case. Which is lucky, but it's better to just bring. Uh, yeah, just to USB. be safe, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rather than decks. Oh, because well. like certain USBs don't. They get corrupted sometimes. You'll put them in and they just won't work. And then you're like, I've come all this way. I don't even have my tracks. Oh, okay. So that's why they all have three, four different ones. Yeah, innit? yeah, just in case. So it's the three, four got the same music on, though? Not always. Because I've got so many tracks in my collection. I feel like I've got different USBs with different stuff, but I will have some main folders. 
just in case. Okay, so what do you, how's, so your track selection, you, you buy tracks every day? What, what's the plan on that? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I'm addicted. I feel like the only thing that I do, which I'm very like cutthroat about, if I'm listening to a track and I'm not gassed, like I'm not buying it. Like, cause I just think I'm not going to ever get to the point where I'm in my set and I'm going, I'm going to yeah. drop this yeah. tune that I half like. like. And also I think that's something we carry through to the hub. We always say to our DJs, like, listen, this is a bangers only event. We want bangers. Like, and I know some events are like, oh, it's not always about the bangers, but I feel like just through my experience of being out, when a DJ comes on, they're playing banger. Up, I'm gassed. Yeah. I'm running around 100. like a mad woman, 100. like having it. So I always make sure that I'm buying tracks that I don't feel half-hearted about. Like I'm like, Full that's in. a 100%. beat. Yeah, yeah, but I buy too many tracks. So have you thought of producing before? I, you know what? I, I did it a few years ago. I had like a couple lessons and then I think I just got daunted by the whole like process because you look at it and you're like, oh, this is going to take years, but I wish I just committed then. But I had, by now, it would have been all right. Yeah, I would have been all right by now. But I've had a couple lessons maybe last month and I know I've, I'm meant to have caught up with him, so I'll probably give him yeah, a message yeah, after this. Yeah. What's the like, process in that? Is it, that must be hard, man. You know what, though? I feel like I should just do it because I'm so used to using different softwares with like, graphic design and like jumping on and just learning new stuff that I'd be quite all right. Like I'm quite good with IT skills, so I would be all right I'm if I just did it. Yeah. But I feel like you make excuses for yourself, don't you? You're like, oh, but will I be able to do da da But I've just decided I'm going to throw myself into it. But I've enjoyed it so far. I mean, it's, I'm on the basics, but I've enjoyed it's it start, so though. far. It's always, you start, yeah. always start with the basics. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, like, even though this is basic, like, this is a bit of a banger. <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing you're still even like learning things DJ wise anyway. I'm what guessing, like on the depth? Yeah, on the yeah, depth. There I mean, still must be things you're still trying to learn. Or it's get like up. a world of depth. Like even if you think about what DJ EZ does, you could learn like what he does and how quick he chops and changes stuff. And I think when you're out or if you listen to a mix, you go, "Oh, I like how they did that." And like, I think the main thing is applying it to your set because sometimes you'll listen to it and then you'll forget about it and you'll stick to like what you're used to. But I think it's important to like incorporate them other factors that you might not if you just don't think to do it. So, so. what's your um even like? Don't you release mixes on like? I on do. I, I was like in a state of releasing them every week at one point. Yeah. It was on top, but it was worth it now because I look back, I've got a big collection. But yeah, I released them on SoundCloud. Now I've got my radio show on Friday, 9 till 10. So that's on Vibes Late FM. Yeah, yeah. So that keeps me rolling as well. But um, yeah, I mean, even like the thought, anyone who's a DJ who's watching, it's like, oh, the thought of like pre recording a mix because it's like, you can't mess up. Like I'm like a perfection. If I mess up on the 45th minute, I'm like, oh, mm, with me. Like, oh, I'm gonna have to start again. Do you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but I do like I do record mixes that I send out there. Yeah, I thought I, well at the beginning I used to I felt like DJs should put out mixes every week or two. That's how I felt before. I know. But it's not from the more, the more DJs I speak to, I realise that it's not even as easy. It doesn't really happen that often. Yeah, but you know. some no, but some DJs. Every time I look, someone's got something new out. Mm. But that's just them, innit? Everyone's, everyone's different. You know, yeah. Say. Some uh, people aren't as present on SoundCloud. I feel like I've looked up my favourite DJs and I've been like, oh, they don't really have that many. It's always mixes out. So I had a conversation with somebody, another DJ to, yesterday. Yeah. And she was saying the same thing, like more more of them bigger DJs don't really put out a lot no. of mixes, but they ain't got time to. They ain't I got reckon. time for it. I feel no. like, because they're so big and music is their life, I feel like sometimes they just want to, when they get home, they don't want to be putting out nothing. Or no. maybe when they get, whatever they're doing outside of, DJing then, maybe they don't want to be doing that. You know what? They've probably what I mean. got enough gigs that they're just like, yeah, I'll just record yeah, that. Yeah, just record and that and just chuck it on there. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, easier yeah. for them, I guess. But mm. it's, you should put it on Spotify and everything, no? Spot. I've got, well, I don't really use Spotify that much. I don't I like, use... can you put mixes up on Spotify? Oh, okay, I think so. I, don't I know. like the high pitched voice. <laughs> 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 I like it. <laughs> so I'm not too, you must be able to. Spotify, yeah. Spotify, you listen to music, so I'm guessing it's Maybe like, you can. Oh, from Amazon Music, you probably can as well. I've, we've got like playlists from the hub on Spotify. So we've got like Tech Hub, Beat Hub, which is obviously just mm. full of beats and like all that kind of thing. So we do the playlist side of the stuff, but I haven't tried a mix. So I have to give it a go. Yeah, like know. I said, obviously, yeah. it's, it's still, there's still many thousands of other platforms. Yeah, yeah. I'm a SoundCloud it. girl. I yeah, it. I'm a, I, yeah, yeah, I literally yeah. got SoundCloud. I don't even use my Spotify. No, yeah, I literally. think you get more ads on Spotify. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah that, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like, it's, but yeah, that's just that. But look, thanks for coming. Oh, thank you so much Appreciate for having you. me. First Appreciate female you. DJ for season two. Do you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> I think this season I'm going to focus on more female DJs anyway. Okay, so I thought cool. like it's only right for you to start it off anyway. Kick do you know what I mean? Um, 
But I do wish you the best on your journeys as well. Thank you so much. Um, I'll be at the next hub. Yes, yeah. love to see it. Might yeah, come my cameraman to talk to a couple people now, joking. Yeah, but absolutely. yeah, no, no, yeah, we yeah. chat about that outside. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, thanks for coming. Thank Appreciate you. you, and yeah, we'll catch up soon. Yeah, definitely. All right, sweet. Thank you. All right.